Scott, you're requiring 96. We have cast a little bit of doubt over TJ as to whether he can get the job done here this afternoon. But it is a very difficult one against the seasoned competition he's up against. Game oh, shot that's on the first so good. Way. Scott Mitchell. He's reached deep into TJ's pocket and found something that he treasured. Be involved in our very unique darting atmosphere. It won't be this quiet prior to the action at 7.30 on Saturday 130. night. 135. But it will be this quiet during as well because it is a very respectful atmosphere. And if that's what you're after, get yourself and your smart device hooked up with that QR code. You might even run into a few of us. And a few of those. I think it's going to be a very strong lineup. This Saturday night, as we book our seventh player into Champions Week, then there's not going to be that many more places available. Just a 12-week cycle. We'll be crowning another. The booby prizes. Averages so far today of 96 and change beating Hurrell. And 85 and 99. change beating Richardson. But he's, Scott, you require 100. He's playing this perfectly because he's just a little bit better than his opponent on each and every occasion. Love that. 74. He will not love that. But at Thomas least he gave himself 87. the chance. And it might only be that as well for Thomas Jürgens, a dart of the ball, unless he can find the treble. Oh, he does. Double 18. To break the throw straight back. Game shot on the second lay. Thomas Jürgens. This is getting good. Mitchell in the background was castigating himself for missing that bullseye by such a margin. Third. Treble we throw. We'll always give you that opportunity. You can hold your throw in 15 darts. You're forcing your opponent to go out in 12. 177. What a fantastic set shot that is from Scott Mitchell. It forces the issue now, the 110. Neil has to go. Here's that double treble combination at the bottom of the board you've mentioned. This time he hits it. Leaves himself tops. Game shot on the third lay. And Thomas urgency Hines. button was pressed. Scott, you require Richardson eight. beat him yesterday. And the way that Horrell beat Atkinson just before we joined our friends at Sporty Stuff TV. I think there's going to be a lot of Game reverse fixtures today. Lay. This could be Scott one of them. Mitchell. Number so it requires 76. You would classify this leg as a chance for Mitchell because he's had 15 darts to complete it. If he gets visit six, he'll be a very fortunate man. Two fours. Game and Thomas is in front play. again. Thomas Younghands. Scott, you require 25. Here. 25 to take us all the way in game seven. And this is not the NHL. This is not hockey. This is darts. And it's very tense. Game shot on the sixth And play. it's leg seven. Scott Mitchell. Well, if it was the NHL, this is the bit you describe as they chuck down the pads and start having seven a scrap. Seven final leg. It's Thomas to throw first. Reminds Game me on. of when Damon Hetter was in Czechia recently. He went up there with a, a national hockey jersey. He chucked off the gloves, the helmet, and... Decided to have a, a fake fight with Dylan Slevin. Oh, Thomas. 180. What a hit. It's good darts, whether it's hit against him or not. I want to change that quote because I don't think he appreciated that too much. I think the switch is on here. Stop with the 20s. 60. Go to the 17s there. Freedom shot, really. Right now he's just got a little bit of urgency. He responds to urgency. He took out a big 110. 140. After Scott Mitchell hit the 177 to pressurise earlier. His face, Thomas you just saw it drop. 121. I think he thinks this one might be about done. Thomas 
Took out this finish yesterday by hitting the bull first. He might take it out again by hitting the 25 first. Game shots. What a and performance in that Thomas seventh leg. You can see what that game's taken out of him. Seven legs, and the best one of the lot was the seventh one. Wonderfully done. 121 checkout to win the game with a 12 darter. And it's Young Hans from Switzerland who beats the former England captain by four legs to three.